is some plants are more sensitive to water stress than other plants are. Our alfalfa and our grains, we can take out 50% of the, the available moisture and they will just produce fine and have good quality uh, crops for us. However, if I stress a potato or a sugar beet or other crop like corn at the wrong time or consistently through the season, although the plant above the ground may look okay, the crop, we will affect the quality of the crop. For uh, one good example of that is cucumbers or carrots. Uh, the cucumber plant vine will look just fine, healthy, strong. The cucumbers may even look strong. But when you taste the cucumber, it'll be bitter. Or the carrot will be bitter if it's been water stressed. We can also, through our management practices, affect the root zone of uh, permanent crops, such as pasture. Here's an illustration where we have affected the root zone extremely by improper grazing of our pasture or our range plants. You can see here a good plant that's had um, no grazing. Here a plant that's been grazed properly, there's been a little tiny bit of effect of the root zone, but still we have a good excellent root zone. Over here we have a plant that has not been grazed properly and as such has an extremely limited root zone uh, and therefore we have a very short uh, area in which the plant can get water and nutrients. Uh, we do this with our lawnmowers many times to our own lawns and wonder why we can't keep our lawns. It dries out too fast. Well that's because we've mowed the lawn too short and kept the root zone too small and therefore we can't keep up with the water demands of that little tiny root zone.